Yo, what is up guys? I have a pretty cool video for you guys today. I actually just thought about it like uh, today, so it's pretty spontaneous, but I think it's a pretty cool idea. So if you guys don't know or haven't been following my channel for too long, I've started this channel, like I did it kind of as a joke. I did one video, it was a trade up contract video, and it did really, really good for my size. It got like 10K views and I had like 30 subs. So it did really good and I kept doing them and I found them fun. If you guys don't know who Juicy is, Juicy's pretty big now, but back in the day, he had like 18K subs or something like that. And he did a video like uh, testing low risk trade up contracts, something like that. So that's kind of the inspiration of this video. It's a pretty cool video, honestly. I mean, he actually checked out my trade up in, in that video. All right, so Unix CSGO content said we need five chain mills, uh, factory new condition, and that'll cost us like a lot of money so that was one of the reasons i thought of doing this try and do it to other people so i'm just gonna type in low risk trade up but we got some problems here it's just it's mainly me Ooh, that's me, that's me, that's me, that's me. Low. <sighs> Logan Paul. Low risk, trade up, and filter this month. Hey, Ruffle. Yeah, Ruffle's like a Twitch streamer and a CSGO skin collector. He's pretty cool, but I have not seen this video yet. 42K views, all right. Let's see what this trade up is. Average of less than 0.11666 Okay, I don't want to do that. I don't want to do that. Sounds like a good trade up to me, but I can't I can't just be, you know, on OP skins. Like that's gonna take a while. It's a pretty good trade up though, it sounds like. Alright, we found another one by Ruffle. Came up. Costs mm -hmm. around one dollar twenty to buy on okay. skins. Uh from this it's we cheap. can get the USPS uh, Cyrex. The M4A1S flashback, which are both profit, it's like two dollars and fifty cents profit if it's either of those. And then we can also get the Jewel Bretz's Royal Consorts, the G3 SG1 Stinger, or the Nova Gilla, which are all between uh, sixty and eighty cents loss. So. He has a mixture of factory new and minimal wear skin. So I guess I'll get five minimal wear and five factory new i didn't see exactly how much he said all right i got the skin so yeah this cost me like 145 ob skins price he said we do want to get the usps or the m4a1s just gotta put my signature there all right that's it i'm just gonna do that all right easy this should be pretty uh i mean i think it was a 20 percent chance at profit or 40 percent chance profit Let's hope it's factory new. It is, dude. All right, so that was like 160 something, like skins price, and this is five dollars. Yo, Ruffle, good trade up, my man. Our next candidate has a, a pretty nice thumbnail, honestly. Low risk trade up. We got the, uh, I think that's like a sunflower, you know, leaf right there. You know, keeping it legal. Okay. So doing a trade up. I'm just gonna put it up on the screen for you. Twenty scar twenty or tw ten scar twenty outbreaks factory mill. And uh, we're gonna trade them up for. I'm gonna put it up on the screen. So basically, what you have <laughs> is a uh, tw forty sixty percent chance of profit because if you get the uh, Tech 9 SG. Uh. So I can already tell you right now this isn't the best trade up because the profit you're making is just going to get taxed, I think. Unless it's like over 50 cents. So like this one's all right right here. This I don't think is enough. This is fine. This is good. Then he said you're breaking even there. Now nah, you're losing money, obviously. Two cents and then tax. So like we only really make good money on this and this. This we make a few cents and this a few cents. All right, I got these skins. I do have my doubts with this trade up, but I'm gonna give this guy the benefit of the doubt because it literally was almost a month ago. It just made like the month mark. So, you know, I'm just gonna have that cool C right there. So yeah, like 
the prices are obviously off this was like five dollars and fifty cents on op skins price so that's like six dollars six twenty but we did make profit sort of if this increased in price then yes i think we did make money no we lost like two dollars so our next one is here by uh arc arcanix okay arcanix Why does everybody say it's low risk then? If it's six out of ten times you're gonna lose your money. I don't get it. We lose about thirty cents. If we get empyrean setting thing, we lose about thirty cents again. But if we get XM one zero one for more lucky, we lose Oh that's a big L. Alright, buddy, I got them. At Atronox. I really hope I'm saying the name right, dude. I don't mean to be a douche if I can't say it. So we need the Tech 9 or the Glock, apparently. I'm just gonna do this. So not like we're doing a thousand dollar trade up here or something. It was like 70 cents or a dollar or something. Oh, that was the one that we got the negative 60 cents on, apparently, to my guy. I'm sorry, Atronox. I don't think that was the best trade up in the world. 60% chance of losing your money and, uh, it's not like you lost a little bit. You kind of lost pretty much the whole trade-up money. But I do understand that it was pretty cheap. And you have a chance of making $1.50. So, okay, it wasn't that bad. Trade-up contracts before we get into that. Let's open this. Um, today I'm going to be doing some trade-up contracts before we get into that. Let's open this Gamma 2 case and get a... Did he leave that in? That's very loud. Nice. Nice. <laughs> God damn it. In this trade-up. I have 10 Statrak Nega War, Mana Wars, all Minware. Okay. And in total, it cost me around $3 uh, for every item that we can get. There's a 25% chance. I believe two of them are profit, two of them aren't profit. One of them 50, is like $4 profit, I believe. Uh, I got this from Unic. Uh, Wait, I actually didn't see this video before. This is actually kind of crazy, though. <laughs> Wait, hold up. This channel will be in the description. Uh, so you guys can go check him out. This is a really- But my chant- No, I'm just- I don't really care, but you did lie there, buddy. I don't remember doing this trade-up contract on my channel, but we'll test it again. Maybe I suck. Ah! Jesus. Oh, not a willy! <laughs> oh, no! I'm gonna get demonetized. It's either really loud or really quiet. You're scaring me. Oh, oh, okay. There we go. Hmm. Is that profit though? What? How much is it on the market? I think that was a rip. <laughs> Please leave a like and subscribe. I feel you, buddy. I'm only golden of it, too. All right, apparently this is my own trade-up, so I better be spitting out some uh, good trade-ups. I think he said it was a 50-50. Why would I call that low risk? I hope I didn't call that low risk on my channel. Eh, well, 50-50 can be low risk. All right, so apparently I just want the op god, uh, warm god? God, yeah. I want the op warm god in Satrack Minimal Wear or Factory New. I don't, I don't remember. Hopefully we don't get the Mag 7 Heat, just like my buddy over there. Oh, uh, we got the Grand Prix. That's really bad. I know that's really bad. Hold up. 84 cents for a uh, $2 trade-up. My trade-up sucks, dog. All right, anyways, guys, that's pretty much the video. We didn't really have that many bad trade-ups. We had two that weren't the best. One was mine, apparently, that I came up with. Maybe it was better at the time. Wait, okay. Forget what I just said. I mean, it's not a bad trade-up if you lose money. There's always a chance that you're going to lose money. You know what I mean? So, I shouldn't say... 
those were bad trade up. This one, Ruffle, really good. Oh, this one kind of sucked, but it was a decent trade up, I guess, sort of. Trade ups are so fun, in my opinion, to do, and uh, you guys seem to like them as well, and I've started my channel from them. So if you guys did enjoy this, please drop a like on the video and do all that good stuff. Turn on my notifications so you don't miss a video. One thing for all the people who are subscribed and support me and watch my videos and stuff, I have a question for you. And I want you to be honest with me in the comment section. Like if you're like, hey, I'm a subscriber, but no. I really am into a game called Players Unknown Battlegrounds. If you guys haven't heard of it, it's basically like a battle royale game made by the same guy who made the battle royale mod for Daisy and Arma. Loved both of those games. I've always been into Arma, Fallout, Skyrim, those types of like open world games. Like, well, I wouldn't say Daisy and Arma are open world because there's no like campaign. I'm getting off topic. But I really enjoy the game and I feel like I'm starting to really get good at Players Unknown. Like, I thought about doing content, but I didn't think I was good enough just yet. But now I think I'm at the point where I'm good enough to make content, do a lot of ideas. Like, I don't want to just do, uh, like, get in a match and try and win. That might be some of the videos, but I might do challenge videos as well, like pistol only, shotgun only, sniper rifle only, you know, like car 98 only. I don't know. Whatever it may be, I'm going to try and make really interesting content. I think I have the editing ability and the creativity level that I would PUBG content like no others. Okay, I'm really babbling on, but I feel like I could make some awesome videos on PUBG and I love the game. Let me know what you guys think about that. Would you watch it? It would only be like once a week and then I'd still have the regular gambling, trade up, CSGO content. Really fun to me. I know I'm not going to get that much views on them, but sometimes you got to take YouTube what you enjoy. Such views. Okay, that was a long rant, but really wanted to ask you guys what your opinion was on that. Anyways, really hope you guys have a nice day. Peace, peace.